Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the Google Assistant on any Nexus phone running Android 7.0 or higher. Alright, for so just for a point of reference, I'd like to say that I am using a rooted Nexus 6. Your device does not have to be a Nexus 6, but it does have to be rooted for this to work. It will not work any other way if it's not rooted. Now, I believe this is definitely the easiest way from what I've found. Um, Alright, so once you open Google Play, you want to search for Git Assistant right there. It is an app that you're going to need to download. It should be first on the list with the colorful GA icon, and you're going to want to tap on that and make sure to install that. Now once it's finished downloading and installing, open it, and it will give you a little one-time welcome message here. Just hit continue on that, click allow, and okay, and then you'll see this right here. Uh, if you have a rooted device, you should see this, and you'd want to click grant. Very, very important. It will not work without that. You should see that little success pop up there. And then all you're going to have to do is click get assistant, that button right there. All right. And then it gives you a little warning message here. It says that it will only work on Nexus devices running Android Nougat, which is 7.0 or, you know, 7.1, anything like that. And if you have any mods or custom ROMs, kernels, stuff like that, it could um, really mess up or, you know, boot, up, boot loop your device. And if you don't know what custom ROMs or any mods or stuff like that are, don't worry about that. You can disregard the message completely because you won't have any of those most likely. All right, then just click yep. All right, and you should see the success modified build prop accordingly. And then it tells you what to do now. And it says you're going to need to manually wipe the Google Apps data and reboot your phone. And right here, I'm just going to show you how to do this. It gives you a nifty little link right here to open the app info for the Google app and then you look at, and then you see the Google app right there and then to wipe the data click storage and then click manage space and then make sure to go down to the bottom where it says clear all data so this is everything search history feed settings Google search data everything that could you know, prevent Google Assistant from working, so you're going to need to basically start new from the Google app. It'll just wipe out any data. You might have to sign in again, that kind of stuff. All right, so I have already done this, so I'm not going to do that. Right now, I already have Google Assistant, but you'd hit that button right there, clear all data. And then you'd want to, of course, oop. and you'd want to, of course, turn your phone power your phone off and turn it back on again and then everything should be applied and ready to go again make sure to reboot your device I didn't do that because like I said I've already had or I, I've yeah I've already had Google Assistant for a while now and I don't need to do that but that is definitely what you're gonna need to do to get it for the first time okay so once you've rebooted your device if it's working properly you should be able to hold down your home button, your home soft key right here, and you should see something, something like this. It looks like Google Assistant, and you might have to set it up or sign into your Google account, maybe answer a few questions, that kind of stuff. But it's it's pretty straightforward, and it walks you through it nicely. All right, so I'm just gonna ask ask it a few questions here to show that it's working perfectly on my phone. I've had no issues yet so far. So hopefully no one <laughs> no one watching this has issues either with Google Assistant, but uh, if you do, let me know down in the comments and I'll try and help you out if I can. But alright, so you're going or well, yeah, let me just show you a little bit. How far away is the moon? The moon is two hundred thirty eight thousand nine hundred miles from Earth. Alright, so I don't know if you can hear that, but it spoke the answer too, and it gave me an answer there. And I got, you know, some options here, stuff like that. 
let's say let's do something else real quick just to show you it can tie in to more complex stuff on your phone so let's say turn on flashlight okay so as you can see my flashlight turned on just to show you that they can do those kind of things alright so that is pretty much it uh, if you want to mess around with settings you can just enter the Google app pull out the little hamburger menu here and click settings and then under Google Assistant at the top there there's you can either ask it what it can do or you can go into the settings so it'll display your account there at the top along with news settings uh, summary my day they call it shopping list settings you can turn Google Assistant off if you want to some other settings down here language um, okay Google detection voice all all that kind of stuff and it okay Google popped up my thing alright so that is Google Assistant now you're able to have this on a device that Google didn't even give it to so I hope you found this video of use uh, again, let me know if you have any issues with this or if I missed anything. Let me know in the comments. I'll try and sort everything out. Uh, if the video helped, helped you, uh, give it a like, I guess. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't care, but just do whatever. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later.